everybody loves barbecue chicken but there's only so much you can do with mustard based and ketchup based but let's hit another condiment on the tree that's right today we're going to do a mayonnaise based barbecue sauce we're doing alabama white sauce chicken so let's check it out and see how it turns out hey youtube welcome back this is griffin grills i am griffin and as you can see, our location is a little bit different today. We're actually out of town visiting some family, which is a perfect example of showing off why you need something like this. This is my Smoky Joe. It's a tailgating slash camping grill that you can take with you. It gives you the same versatility of cooking as your Weber kettle. It comes in this handy dandy little travel case. You've got a sling there. You can just throw it over your side. You've got a carry handle up here at the top. I've had this for a little while, but I don't think I've ever used it on camera, so we're going to bust it out today, and we're going to knock out some Alabama white sauce chicken. So let's get this out, and we'll bring it in for a close look. You can see it's pretty much a kettle just shrunk down. Got this locking handle that locks everything in place. Lid comes off. Pretty standard grate system. You got the regular cooking grate and the charcoal grate on the bottom. So we're gonna get this thing loaded up and then we're gonna throw on the chicken thighs. We're doing Alabama white sauce chicken today. Really interesting cook, smoke the chicken and then dunk it in the barbecue sauce. And then we'll come back and show you what that looks like. So stay tuned. All right, so I've got my charcoal chimney loaded up just about to the top. We've got some fire starters in there, so let's just go ahead and torch them real quick. A little harder to do on camera than it usually is. All right. Now we'll get this chimney up here. And we're just gonna let that take hold and while that starts to burn up we're gonna dump them on the side and leave one side open for cooking one side open for fire we're not gonna do a whole lot maybe just about four thighs three or four thighs we'll see how many we can fit on the grates so let me go ahead and get those thighs seasoned up and get them out here on this grate all right so we got our chimney of coals banked over on this side we're gonna cook on this side with our airflow coming out over the top of our food. I've got three chicken thighs here that we've already seasoned up and I flatten them out just to make the cooking process go a little smoother, especially on a smaller grill like this. It's not gonna take a lot of heat and with not very much food, it's not gonna take very long, but this is more like a snack. I wouldn't wanna feed a whole bunch of people off something like this. But if it's just, you know, you and one other person going camping or going tailgating, you want to throw some hot dogs or brats out, this is perfect for that. So let's go ahead and get these on. And bring you in for a closer look. We got three chicken thighs there. I did put a little wood on top of my coals just to give it a little smoky flavor. So we're going to let this ride out. We'll check on her in a few more minutes. And then we'll let you know how it turned out. Alright, so it's been about 45 minutes our chicken has been cooking. So let's bring you in and let you get a look at it. And it's got a nice color to it it's real juicy it's coming off more black on the camera just because my light's not very good and i got my white sauce set up in the pan here we're gonna dunk it in the white sauce and then plate it up and we're gonna get to eating so let me go ahead and show you what that final product looks like sorry remote filming so things are a little chaotic Sizzle 
and the thing that makes the Alabama white sauce is most of your barbecue sauces are going to be either a mustard ketchup kind of base. This one is actually a mayonnaise base. Now, just because you like mayonnaise, you can't always say that, yeah, definitely I'm going to like this. My wife puts mayonnaise on everything, and she was not the biggest fan of this. But we're just going to flip the chicken around a couple of times. Make sure we get it good and coated. And now we're going to plate it up. Is our final product right there Alabama white sauce chicken we're gonna give it a few minutes to cool off and then we'll come back and show you a taste test so give us a few minutes just to let this cool because my tongue is very sensitive and doing all this barbecue I don't need to lose any taste buds up there so we're gonna let it cool and we'll be back in a minute So we got our Alabama white sauce plated up. I did let it sit for about five minutes because it does change the color on it a little bit. That mayonnaise starts to settle in and it's actually going to help make this chicken even juicier. Of course, using the thighs, I don't think we got a problem with juice. But I went ahead and cut me a little piece off here. Let's dab it in some of this sauce and we're going to give it a try. Mmm. Still juicy as everything. Because it was smoked, it's got a little crunchy exterior. Nice, moist, juicy meat on the inside. Definitely recommend you give this one a try. Sorry, a little chewy. Got a big bite for a big mouth. But that's Alabama white sauce chicken. Definitely something that's got a different flavor profile. So if you're getting a little sick and tired of the sweet or spicy barbecues, give us one to try. See what you think. If nothing else, it makes a great palate cleanser. Get you ready for the next set that you do. That's all we got for the video today. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you get a video. And click the bell for notifications every time that I post a video. And if you don't mind... Leave a like and a comment on this. Helps me out. If I did something wrong, go ahead and tell me. If I did something great, go ahead and tell me. Either way, I value every comment. So just leave me one and everybody will be happy. I'm going to be happy because I got a plate of this chicken to eat. And we will catch you on the next one.